You think you can defeat me? Unarmed? One on one? Still so cocky! <laughs> now we're talking. I'll wipe that stupid grin off your face and leave it bloody on the floor. Ichiban. 
番一番ユロケテトゥーストミーユファーッOnce they've outgrown their use to you? <laughs> Are you finally getting the picture? Like hell I am! You and me were like light and shadow, born on the same day. You're the light. Harakawa's heir and legitimate son, who was always given everything I ever wanted. You had all of that from birth. What the hell happened? What changed you? Why'd you turn out like this? This is the police! Nobody move a muscle! Kasuga, these aren't just beat cops. They probably report directly to the commissioner. Sir, what's going on here? Start over from scratch. Come on. That's exactly what you need to do. I know you can crawl back up if you just put in the work. I believe in you. If you're willing to do that, I swear I'll stand by your side the whole time. Just like the old days, for as long as it takes. We can do it together. It'd be an honor. You know something? Back when I first joined the family, I promised Arakawa san that I'd always be there to support you. As you already know, Tendo tried to use a bomb to kill us back in Ijinsho. 
He did all that under the orders of Ryo Aoki. We have video evidence of Valky's reaction when he found out we were still alive. See for yourself. We know he must still have accomplices out there somewhere. At the very least, someone who ran that ticker at the same time as the votes were being counted. And we know someone must have been hiding him after the explosion in Ijinjo. I refuse to tolerate any chance of another clue shave like this. So, what's your call here? Hunt them all down. Kill them. Make sure the bodies are never found. Do whatever it takes. I don't want even the slightest chance of any of them getting back up and crawling out of the slums like cockroaches. This video is already making its rounds on the internet. The Citizens Liberal Party must have more enemies than they think they do, because it's going viral even as we speak. I think it's fair to say we'll need to consult with the Commissioner on this one. Things aren't looking good for you, Mr. Governor. We'll need to take you into custody. Why don't you come with us to the precinct? You master! Stay back! Take one step, and I blow his fucking brains out! Your master! Don't do this! You want me to give up everything I've built because of some stupid thing Arakawa told you 20 years ago? All this patriarch and old bullshit. I've always hated how you Yakuza act like you're one big happy family. You go on about duty and honor, and I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it! Put the gun down, young master, please. If you take a police officer hostage, they're going to kill you, no matter who you are. I... I don't want to see any more of my family die. Family? <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm not your fucking family. No matter what you say, I'll always consider you part of my family. You were the first friend I ever had in my whole life. I wish I could have stopped you. I should have stopped you from losing control. But I didn't. And now we've both lost Arakawa-san forever. So please, don't do this. I couldn't take losing you too. You can still come back. I'm begging you. You just like him. <sighs> Every single damn thing that comes out of your mouth just reminds me of my fucking father. Which is exactly why I never liked you in the first place. <laughs>
slightest chance of any of them getting back up and crawling out of the slums like cockroaches. Hunt them all down. Kill them. Make sure the bodies are never found. Do whatever it takes. I told you. I've known you for 20-odd years. I figured you'd come here. Call it a hunch. I thought maybe some of my words managed to get through to you. Maybe you actually did decide to start over from the bottom and work your way back up. I figured if you did, You'd come back to where Arakawa-san first found you. Where our stories began. You don't have any idea what I'm going through. I'm tired of your shit, Ichiban. All we're doing here is having a conversation. So come on. The gun's really not necessary. Why don't you stop pointing that thing and give it to me? who broke my heart and betrayed me on that New Year's Eve 18 years ago. That night changed our lives forever. Oh. She ended up marrying Horinuchi, you know? Before I became governor, I attended a celebration of his appointment to police commissioner. She was there. She didn't recognize me. Everything about me was so different. Do you know what she said to me? You won't believe it. Oh my. You're so sophisticated and intelligent for a man your age. Crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking incredible. That damn woman. She was so scared of me. And she calls me a gentleman? What kind of bullshit is that? I swear you couldn't make this shit up! Hilarious, don't you think? That's okay. In the end, that's all it amounted to. The power I changed my name for, changed my body for, the power I chased with such blind passion, I killed for it. I started off in life with a weak, ugly body that embarrassed me. I worked hard to improve myself. But after all that, I still wasn't happy because no one appreciated who I really was on the inside. That's not true, young master. The boss, I mean, 
Arakawa-san and Captain Sawashiro both cared about you. They always put you first in everything they did. Same for me. After I got out of prison, the first time I saw you was in a picture. I knew it was you right away. There was no mistaking it. I'd recognize your face anywhere. Because I care about you too! <laughs> Are you lecturing me again about how important family is? No! It's not a lecture! Did you ever stop to think why Arakawa-san, Captain Sawashiro, and I never gave up on you? No matter how much bad shit you dragged us into! Let me tell you... It wasn't easy! But we did it anyway, because we're all connected, deep inside our hearts! You see things in black and white, but family's not that simple! No one appreciated you for who you are? Bullshit! We were always there for you! We would have done anything for you, gone to hell and back! All you had to do was ask! When will you believe me when I say the three of us loved you? Or are you just gonna keep pointing that gun on your head like a dumbass? Ichi... This may not be what you want to hear, but you know... I consider you my brother, man. That means something to me. Don't make me watch my brother die. Please. I can't do it. Asato. I beg you. Yes, Aoki-san. I put my faith in you. I believed your words. I thought you would lead us down a noble path, bleached pure and clean. <laughs> but it's not too late. True righteousness will triumph.
I'm glad you decided to show up, Horinouchi-san. Of course. You must be him. The man who sent me that anonymous tip. As I recall, you're Kanagawa police. The name's Adachi. I was at the driver's license center, but I was dishonorably discharged just before I hit retirement. Hmm. Hey, you know, this didn't happen too long ago. Don't tell me you don't remember me. Your point? I'm a very busy man, you know. Don't waste my time, please. Look, you said there was a crime the Tokyo Omi Alliance had gone unpunished for. Can we get to that? <sighs> I, uh, found some pretty explosive evidence at the Arakawa family office in the Millennium Tower. I'm not sure if you know this, but... Supposedly, there was an audio recording somewhere in the office that would implicate Governor Aoki in Masumi Arakawa's murder. But that was just a bluff by Ichiban Kasuga and his accomplices. It was bait to lure out Tendo and the governor. A trap to record Aoki admitting to his crimes. I knew you'd have a good grasp of it. Oh, you brought company. These guys your subordinates? I'm the police commissioner. Every officer is my subordinate. <laughs> Fair enough. What's that? The recording might have been a hoax. But when Tendo and the Omi searched the family office, they found... Something else that was very interesting. Simply put, it's a list of shady characters who are on the Arakawa family payroll. Is it? Apparently, not long after the Kamrocho 3K plan started, Masumi Arakawa transferred a total of 300 million yen to various officials in public roles. Shame he was killed the other day, huh? You know, I think he could have explained in detail what all these obvious bribes were about. But at least we have this list here which shows exactly into whose hands each yen landed. That's right. The whole list is here. It was all on Captain Sawashiro's computer. Great news for us, don't you think? <clears throat> What's up? Oh, you're looking kind of pale, Commissioner. Is something wrong? Masumi Arakawa's 300 mil took crazy complicated routes through a bunch of foreign bank accounts. Eventually found its way to you and other high-ranking officers. I know it was all in exchange for turning a blind eye toward the Omi Alliance activities in Kamrocho. But for real, I gotta hand it to Arakawa for hiding the flow of this money so well, but lucky for us, this list makes it pretty clear. So, all we need is some supporting evidence. And then the arrests from this little guy are gonna knock out dozens of top officials, including you, police commissioner. Arrest this man! Confiscate whatever you find on him! What's wrong? Those are my orders! Struggle all you want. It's too late now. You moron. I already sent this to the Inspector General at Police HQ. That's right. Toss the same thing over to the media, so your time's running out. Tick-tock, Commissioner. You're bluffing. This whole scheme wouldn't benefit you at all. You'd be just as poor afterward as you are now. No, this isn't a bluff, unfortunately for you. It's a victory for me. Commissioner. The Inspector General is eager to have a word with you. What? I'm sure you didn't take the money purely for personal gain. You had a duty to protect the peace in Kamrocho. After the Tojo clan disappeared, you had no choice but to allow the Omi to take over and stabilize the area. In that sense, you might have even felt you were justified in taking the bribe because of the position you were in. I feel for you. You were caught between a rock and a hard place, weren't you? But, on the other hand, sir... What? 
What a coincidence that doing the right thing for the city also happened to line your own pockets. How much was it exactly? One mil? Ten mil? Even more? Well, I'm sure we'll find out once we analyze the data. You handed out bribe money to avoid taking responsibility for the city's crime rate. Plus, you even got to skim some for yourself. People who have so much always want more. <clears throat> Why don't you just admit you did it to save your own damn skin? Just like the old days, eh, Horinouchi? <laughs> Bastard. You know, I've been waiting for years to see exactly that look on your face. This is a trap! A conspiracy! I won't stand for it! Let go of me! I order you to let go of me! Oh yeah! Mind if I ask you one more thing? Do you remember New Year's Eve 18 years ago? There was this rude Yakuza who cock-blocked you from your own wife at a hostess club in Kamrojo. What did you say? Ichiban, Joe Sawashiro received his sentence. He got life in prison. Yeah. In fact, I was just telling the boss all about how everything shook out. It's just tragic. Masato Arakawa died without ever knowing Sawashiro was his father. And Masami Arakawa died without ever knowing what happened at the lockers that night. And that you were his real son. A DNA test? Yeah. Why not? It's the only way to prove once and for all if Arakawa really was your dad. Don't you want to know for sure? Otherwise, you're gonna have doubts for the rest of your life. I mean, if I were in your shoes, I'd want to know. Not me, man. The way I see it, I have two dads. Huh? My fathers are Jiro Kasuga, owner of Shangri-La, and Masumi Arakawa. It doesn't matter which one I'm related to by blood. Nothing can change the fact that they both raised me and made me who I am today. I don't need a test. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's something, man. Huh? There you are. What are you guys doing in here? The services are starting. Let's go say goodbye to the Arakawas. All right, let's go.
Kasuga, good to see you. Likewise. I heard about what you've been up to. You started a security company in Sotenbori. Yeah, that's right. We had to do something for all the guys who had their rugs swept out from under them. Their yak is in the wind. I saw it all coming, so I wanted to give them somewhere to go. Originally, Harakawa-san was supposed to help us put the whole plan in motion. Yeah. I heard something about that. Well, what's your next move, Kasuga? You with us? Yeah, sounds like your dad had some unfinished business. Why don't you come to Osaka and wrap this up for him? <laughs> I think hell just froze over. The mad dog of Shimano is giving perfectly reasonable advice. Don't get used to it. Today's an exception. Tomorrow it's back to balls out. <laughs> I appreciate the invitation, but I can't. Eugene Cho is my home. Looking back on it, in Kamrocho, I was drifting all by myself. But here in this town, I found my people, and nothing can replace them. You see, I owe them, and I need to pay them all back for what they did for me. Ijincho and Sotenbori should be places where people can go when they're lost. Safe havens when there's nowhere left to turn. So you see, <laughs> I can take care of the boss's unfinished business right where I am now. That's my plan anyway. <sighs> I get it. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Young master. Hey, wait! Hey, hey! What the? What are all you guys doing here? Well, Namba here was all worried about you. He thought the ex-Tojo guys might be looking to snatch you up, Kasuga-kun. Hey, I said to keep that shit on the down low. So, what'd you say to those old thugs? You gonna leave town and forget all about us little guys? Uh, Zachan, how about you tell him? I can't say all that mushy shit again while I'm sober. <sighs> well... <laughs> wow, I didn't think he loved us that much. Did he say it just like that? How cute. Sounds like the Kasuga-san I know. Finally. <laughs> I've gotten to a point in my life where I can't be replaced. What an honor. Hey, <laughs> as long as I'm in there, he's got good taste. <laughs>
Once you're at rock bottom, the only place to go is up. There's no shame in being at the bottom. All that matters is how you decide to climb back out of the darkness. There's always a ray of hope up there. I was lucky to learn that from you, young master. Mm -hmm.